first Friday with Jack of 2018. We've gotten through a whole year, 2017, and there's so much to be thankful for. Uh, this week, I've gone through, looked at our business numbers for last year, and pleasantly was surprised. I knew we had done well, but we had a lot of transition through the year, and I had no idea that we did as well as we did. So, so blessed. I've gone back and forth this week with regards to what I was going to talk about today. I thought about possibly talking about expectations. Thought about possibly talking about being intentional. Thought about talking about customer service once again. But after watching a video yesterday with Gary V, I was kind of inspired to kind of mold a couple of those together. So today in 2018, I think that our goal should be to be intentional, to be intentional and to let people know what we want and what we expect from them. So in essence, we just need to shoot people straight and in return have people shoot us straight. So what do I mean by that? I had a discussion yesterday with a longtime client, uh, a longtime referral partner, and we were talking about this new road and this new avenue that I'm embarking on in 2018 with the business. And in that discussion, I was asking her some questions with regards to her side of the business, um, other people on her team's part of the business. And finally, I just told her, I said, look, here's what I'm trying to do, and this is why. And once we laid all that on the table, she knew exactly how to answer my questions because I had been up front and told her exactly what I needed. Now, the problem that we have in today's society is that we tiptoe around people's feelings. We tiptoe around, you know, people uh, not wanting to not wanting to offend anyone. And I think that as much as the millennial generation gets a bad rap for being sort of nonchalant and non-caring, if you will. They're really not. They're just really in tune with the value of time. That's why if you try calling a millennial, they do not want to talk to you. But if you shoot them a text, oh my gosh, they will answer right back. Why? Because if you call them, that's an intrusion on their time. So, my thought for 2018 and sort of the, the first thing we need to start thinking about is being upfront and direct with people. And that comes with expectations, especially. So if you want something from someone, then let them know. You know. Be clear about what you expect from someone. And in return, they should be clear with what they expect from you. Now, the problem that we have is that in our society, we have givers and we have takers. And in general, the people that you want to surround yourself with are those who give of themselves freely. You know, as part of what I'm trying to do uh, in business this year, part of that is trying to find a way to bring value to these referral relationship, relationships that I'm creating. And in so doing, you know, if you're giving, then the, the law of reciprocity states that you know, you're gonna get back in return, but you have to give of yourself and give value with not necessarily the expectation that you're gonna get something back. So it's a little bit of a catch-22. And I think that you'll find that those people in life in general who give freely have a great and positive outlook on life. On the flip side, there are people who all they do is take. They're the parasites of this uh, world. Those are the people who take of your time and have no regard for it. They you know, ask and ask of you, ask things of everyone outside of themselves. Those are the people who, you know, when something goes wrong, it's someone else's fault. 
those are the people who, if things aren't going right, it's because they have not been given something. So in 2018, be intentional, shoot people straight with what you want and what you expect. Again, I feel like that in general, I don't really ask a lot of people. That might actually be a fault of mine. Um, I would rather you know, tuck my head down, plow through the snow, and just do the work. I mean, that's, that's what I know I'm good at. When things are up in the air, when things are not going exactly right, I know that I can put my head down and I can drive and work through things. But that isn't really going to get you to where you want to be personally, financially, uh, in business. Because uh, you, you, you have to have a team. You have to have a support group around you. And it's only fair to, of you and for you to you know, articulate clearly what your expectations are of your team, of your family. You know, I know I'm, again, one of my biggest faults is probably that I don't like conflict. Uh, I hate it. Uh, you can ask my wife that when in doubt, I'm just going to try to appease whatever situation and not rock the boat. I would just rather just move on. Um, but that doesn't necessarily lead to a great relationship. You know, sometimes you actually do need to have those tough conversations with employees, with children, with friends, with spouses, what have you and really, really drive down and shoot people straight. So 2018, let's start the year off right. Uh, when the new year rolls around, it's always a great time of, of renewal to where we can be whatever we want to be. We can make this year be whatever we want it to be. But the only way that we can make that happen is to be intentional with our actions, with our mindset, with our attitude. And if we do those things and are, and are clear with our vision about what we want out of this life, then we can make it happen. But we can't make it happen if we're just willy-nilly about what we're doing, about going about your day, about the relationships you have. So... Let's get one thing this year. Let's be really clear with everyone that we that we have in our in our circle of friends and our circle of influence. Let's let them know exactly what we want. Let's let them know exactly what we need and let's make 2018 be the best year it can be. See you next week. I love you, thought you had in here.